Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. It's Monday morning and the weekend's over. I got a bunch of sales I gotta go over here. Sales were all right. I mean, I sold thir no, 15 items for about just over 500 bucks. That was just on eBay. So my total dollar amount definitely down from what I normally do on a weekend. But hey, you know, as things are going right now, I'm happy to have $500 in sales. When this whole sort of home stay at home Thing came out i really thought sales were going to completely tank but it's kind of done the opposite i think because so many people are home and needing extra things to keep busy it's keeping everybody's sales up i mean people that were selling one item a week are probably selling you know 10 and 15 items a week so right now it's going good you know the bad thing for all of us is again it's just that not, not being able to get out of the house and doing our usual thing uh you know for us resellers it's getting to go out to garage and estate sales and auctions and goodwills and thrift stores so not finding new inventory, that's kind of the bummer of this at the moment. You know, our family has been going out and doing daily walks. You know, each day during the week, we've been walking about two miles. And then on the weekend, actually this past weekend, I think we did a little over three miles each day. Just went out to a park, enjoyed the weather. The weather's beautiful out here in Arizona right now. Lots of sunshine. Uh, again, and just doing our best to stay away from other people while we can on the trails. If we see people coming, we'll just scoot over a little bit. Make sure we keep, you know, six to ten feet between us. But, of course, we did have to go to the grocery store over the weekend. That was packed with people. So we do have some exposure. But, again, we're trying to stay home, stay safe, and, uh, you know, do our best to uh, keep healthy. So over the weekend, I did do quite a bit of listing. Uh, I took a bunch of pictures of autographed baseballs that I have. I got all those listed. I think there were about 20 of them, somewhere in there. Uh, I had a bunch of Lego instruction manuals. I got all those listed into my store. None of those have sold yet, but I just got them listed. I think yesterday was when I got them all completed. Uh, today, I think I'm going to be going through and doing a lot of dual listings. So stuff that I have uh, here, I'm not sure you can really see it. Yeah, this pile back here. This is all stuff that is on Amazon, but I don't also have it on eBay. So I'm going to be cross-listing as many of those items as I can. Get them in both sites and, you know, again, try to try to boost sales a little bit from those items. So yeah, later in this video, we're going to be doing a drawing for... What am I drawing for today? I know I said in the last video. It was the pile of junk. Yeah, I call it a pile of junk. Trust me, I don't think that stuff's junk. I like pop culture items. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, all that stuff. Uh, I've watched it all. So uh, we'll be drawing for those items later. Hopefully you've gone into that previous video and put your comment in there. And then I'm going to be finding another item that I'm going to give away, or items. I'm not sure what it is. I think I got a little pile. Yeah, I got a little pile over here. Again, it's a secret. You got to wait till the end. So we'll go over sales. We're going to go over a couple of Amazon items, too. Uh, I didn't sell a lot of items on Amazon over the weekend. Just a few. Uh, and then we'll go over this. Go over eBay. Let's get started. This one just sold this morning. It's a jigsaw puzzle. This is uh, Zion National Park. It's called Walter's Wiggles and Angel's Landing. You can see... Look at that trail right there. That is crazy. So sold this puzzle. It's a big panoramic one. Uh, again, it's sold on Amazon and it went for $19.99 plus shipping. If you watched my video on Friday, you saw that I sold one of these uh, deluxe turntable Scrabble games. Uh, it sold for $79.99 with shipping. That same day, probably within an hour, I sold the other two that I had. So yeah, so I sold three of these on the same day for $79.99. So that was $240 in sales just from getting these three games listed. Now, they're a pain in the butt to ship. You can see here, I got one box up. I can't show you the other side. I'm out here. So look, you got to Franken box the heck out of these things to get them to ship. Luckily, this one, actually that one over there went to California. That one only cost me like $10 to ship. This one's going to Arkansas. It wasn't too bad either, but I'm having to send it uh, UPS ground. That was $12 and change. This last one, it's got to go to New York. That one's going to cost me. My guess is going to be about $17 or so. It'll probably go UPS, but it's going to be in the uh, the upper teens to get that shipped out. But for $240 in sales, I'm willing to spend a little extra on shipping. Again, those are great sales over the weekend from Amazon. Uh, so yeah, what, $240 plus another $20, $260 in sales from Friday through today. Now it's time for eBay. Yeah. 15 items sold, $504. You know, it's okay. I'm not going to complain about 500 bucks. We'll get started on the little stuff first. Look, I sold three cards. We'll kind of flip through these quick. 
I sold one of these the other day. Max Patkin, Clown Prince of Baseball autograph card. This sold for $9.99 shipped. Sold this Mike Piazza. It's a shiny foil card. This is called an Atomic Refractor because it's more shiny than other regular refractors. That sold for $12. And this was the first sale of the weekend. This Mike Piazza card. It's got a little piece of bat right there. And uh, this one sold for $12.99 shipped. So yeah, $12.99, 12 and 10 So decent little card sales over the weekend. Now this next sale, I don't remember how long ago it was. That I sold another one of these and explained it in detail, but I'll go through it real quickly again here. This was called Pratt Cash. You see here, this was the local radio station, 98 KUPD, if you're in Arizona, you know all about it. And this is Dave Pratt. He was uh, one of the top DJs out here forever. Uh, plus some of the other DJs on these, they gave these away at events and stuff like that. And then you could use them for KUPD goods. Uh, I got a big stack of these a while back. Not fast sellers, because again, you're probably only going to sell them to people that have lived in Arizona and know what this is. Uh, but I ended up getting $9.99 shipped for the stack of four of these. I still have one more lot I can do, but I'm out of the $10 bills. I think I only have $5 bills left. So they're not good anymore. I'm pretty sure you can't use this for KUPD goods. So it's just a collectible. But yeah, 10 bucks shipped. Here's a cool hockey puck. This is from the first game ever for what was the Phoenix Coyotes at the time. They now switched to being the Arizona Coyotes, but they played the San Jose Sharks. Uh, so this was an inaugural game puck. This was one of the better ones that I found in, in a bag of uh, pucks that, from a thrift store. I think there were four or five pucks in that bag. They were all pretty good, uh, but this one sold for $19.99 shipped. You've seen me sell some of these Rite Aid razors before. This is Renewal, and these are five blade cartridges. Uh, so you get three boxes of these, but I had a couple loose ones, so I'm gonna send him an extra box. So he's gonna get four. So four boxes of these razors, and it went for $19.99 shipped. Next, we got a college football bowl game program. This is the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. I think this was 2015. Uh, Michigan versus Kansas State. So you had a couple good teams that year. Uh, have a bunch of these college bowl game programs in my store. I still have a few more of this one. Uh, and this went for $19.99 shipped. It's going to fit into a rigid mailer. It's it's going to be close to a pound. I think it's going to be 14 or 15 ounces. So I should still be able to send it out first class. I can't do me can't do media because it does have lots of ads inside these programs. This bundle I already have all bagged up, ready to go in one of these padded flat rate mailers. It's this lot of eight, uh, like practice used baseballs. So I just bundle them together, sell them a little bit cheaper than other baseballs that I sell. Uh, so this went for $29.99 plus another $8.99 for shipping. I guess we're going through all the sports stuff first. That's what we're doing here. Uh, this is a batting helmet, obviously. But it, if you can tell here, I can get out of the light. You can see there used to be an eye logo right here. It's because this was a team used helmet. Oh, my ring light just putting this in here. I can't stand that. Is uh, the Iowa Cubs use these for uh, batting practice or for games, I guess. Uh, lots of scuffs and wear on the helmet itself. But the contact I get these from, they pull the logos off of them, I guess. that I don't know if it has something to do with how they get them. Uh, but this is a minor league team issued batting helmet. People can use these for use. Uh, I don't think it's broken. Or they also are very good for getting autographs on. They'll clean them up, either get one player's autograph here or get a team autographed helmet. They look really nice that way. Originally I had this in my store, I think for $49.99 and I took an offer of $35 shipped. All right, these are sort of still sports. Uh, these are track shoes. Yeah, look at the bottom of these. Very different. These are Asics. It says Cyber Throw inside is the brand. These are size, I think, 14. So these are big. But these were still in really nice condition. Reason why I picked them up. Yeah, they're kind of different with the way they have the laces, but then they also have a Velcro, Velcro, Velcro strap down by the toes. Oh, but got good money for these. Got $39.99 plus another $9.99 for shipping. I'm not sure if they're going to fit into a shoebox. It's going to be right close. These are pretty big. So hopefully they'll fit into one of those shoe box and mail them out priority mail. All right. This was one of the items that I showed the other day in the electronic stuff that I was testing. Uh, sold. I think this is the third item of that batch that I've sold. This is a neat connect. It's a 
like receipt scanning printer. Let's see if you can see it like right there. You feed the scanner or you feed the receipts through the scanner. It comes up on the screen and you can do all of your banking and budgeting and all that stuff. It was missing the software for it. I disclose that in the information. Clearly, I spelled it out. Hopefully, I'm not going to have any issues from the buyer. Like I said, I put a long description on this one. Let them know that I tested it. I ran the self-test through the scanner. It worked fine. Just wasn't able to fully load it onto my computer and test it out that way. So priced it a little lower than if I had the actual full package with the software. Most of these, when you see them used, you don't have the box and all the packing stuff with it. So that was also a plus. So yeah, I was hoping I was going to get 100 bucks for it, but I had to price it just a little bit lower not having that software. Uh, but I still end up getting $59.99 plus another $19.99 for shipping because this thing is a fairly big box and it probably weighs at least 7 or 8 pounds. Now we get into the fun stuff, the games and puzzles. That's why I saved them for last. This puzzle I've had for a long, long time. I actually sent this into Amazon once. It sat in their warehouse for like six months, didn't sell, got it back, put it on eBay and Amazon, had it cross-listed. It just wasn't selling. This is a vintage. It's called Middle Earth Puzzles uh, Mirror of Galadriel. How would you pronounce that? Galadriel? Something like that. Uh, but it was a fairly rare puzzle. I mean, on, on Amazon, they were going for, I mean, comps were $50 to $100. So I priced mine high, and that's probably why I didn't sell. Got it back, put it out on eBay. I think I had it at $50 or $60 originally. Finally, over the weekend, somebody sent me an offer for $30. So I took it. Next up is this Imagine If game. This is actually a vintage game. Let me see if I can read the date on the back. I gotta get my glasses up. This game's a little bit older. It's not quite vintage. It was a 2006 dated box. And the box had somewhere on it. Let's see if you close up. You can see it's got a tear. It's got lots of yeah, scuffs and scrapes on it. So I couldn't send it into Amazon that way. Uh, just put it out on eBay. Ended up getting a uh, $29.99 shipped. All right, this was a cool one when I found it. I was really excited. I thought it could be super expensive, but unfortunately it wasn't really. This is a Monty Python in the Holy Grail Python Opoly game. When I opened it up inside, it was still all the parts, game cards and everything were still factory sealed. But for some reason it was missing like four or five of like the castles or hotels. So yeah, just to disclose that information, it's still fully playable and all that, but just wasn't able to get top dollar for it. So as it is, I ended up getting $19.99 plus $9.99 shipping. It seems to be the, the price for my games, right around that $30 mark. But not this one. This one was more expensive. I, I, I should have played this game at least once before, uh, before I sold it. This is Dark World. If you remember in one of my haul videos, within like two days, I had never found one of these before. Within two days, I found two of them. Luckily, I did find the two because I had to put the two together just to get this and it was still missing no it was missing two pieces yeah two little pieces that it needed but still got pretty good money for this uh i kept the other parts and pieces in case i ever find another one who knows it could be five years or more before i do this one went for a little more this went for 59.99 plus another 12 dollars for shipping it has a lot of pieces and parts here look let me show you the picture look you got to build this whole dungeon scene here to make sure you have everything but yeah, it was cool putting it together, checking it out. So yeah, 60 bucks plus $12 shipping. It is heavy, so it's going to cost me all of that $12, if not more, to send it out. All right, that's it. It's empty back here now. That was my sales. 15 items, 504 on eBay. Some bigger stuff. So it cleared out some room on my shelves back there, but that means it's also going to take me a little bit longer to pack and ship all this stuff out. Now let's get to a couple things. I'm going to do the drawing. We will uh, cut away, do the drawing, and then uh, come back and I'm going to show you what I, I'm going to give out next. Again, what is today? Today's the 6th. Uh, we know we're going through this whole month. I'm doing this whole month of giveaways. So stay tuned. Make sure uh, you hit the thumbs up on this video. And uh, yeah, let's go pick a winner. Okay, here we are in YouTube comment picker. I already put the URL. We got 26 unique commenters. We're drawing for this uh, junk, as I called it, but this cool stuff from uh, Star Wars, uh, Game of Thrones, and others. So let's go down here and pick a winner. Again, if you were one of the winners last week, you are still not eligible. Uh, and I will draw another one if I pick you. So hopefully that doesn't happen and I pick a unique winner here. So let's get it started. 
All right, let's see who we got here. Get a winner. It's going to pick it. And it is B-Man123. Love me some junk. All right, B-Man123. Uh, glad to see you winning this one. So go down in the comments, send me an email, and get me your mailing info, and I will get all this out to you. Congrats. I haven't actually picked the winner yet. I'm going to do that after I do this. So congratulations, whoever won. Make sure you uh, go down in the comments, get my email, send me your mailing info, and I will get that junk sent out to you. If you were the win winner of the previous pile of junk, which I think the it was a Marvel keyword, it was Barry Mode. If you're watching this video, uh, you need to contact me so I can get those items sent to you. If I don't hear from you by Friday, we're going to draw a winner for those as well. Now today, this is going to be a Disney prize pack. So the keyword is going to be, I used Disney the other day, didn't I? Uh, so here, it'll be Mickey. Just put Mickey as the, uh, the keyword. So let's start out with my little pile of Mickey Disney stuff. Uh, this is a little mini Frisbee. This was from a cast member beach party. Yeah, so, so a cast member employee beach party in 1996. So you're going to get that little Frisbee. You're going to get this Disney Celebrate America little pin back button. And then a bunch of little stuff. This is a ticket from Candlelight 94, Candlelight Procession. I looked it up on eBay. There, there's none from this year out there. There are other candlelight stuff, so this could be worth 10 bucks or so. Uh, a Disney 25 years foil sticker. So yeah, it's been a while. That, that, that's, that's older. It's gotta be from the 80s, maybe earlier. This is another employee only thing. A little Disney code of conduct. Ugh. Code of guest services. So this little card. And I got these three little old phone cards. So look, you got, actually that's a hotel key, Disneyland Hotel. So you got a room key. And then these are like old phone cards. So Disneyland phone cards. Got this little Mickey and company thank you card. I have no idea what that was from. So you get that. And then this little Mickey and Annette Funicello. It's like a postcard from some little special Mickey Mouse Club celebration they have. So look. It's a little pile of Disney Mickey Mouse stuff. So again, put Mickey in the comments and it'll be entered for that drawing. We'll do that one tomorrow. Uh, make sure to watch each video daily so you can get in on the drawing. Uh, I give the video 24 hours to be out there before I draw for the next item. So if you're only watching my videos every two or three days, you are missing out on some items. Uh, make sure to watch them. I'm gonna try to get them out earlier in the day this week. I have been putting them out later in the afternoon this week. Uh, yeah, it should be out by 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So that's what I'm going to try to do this week is get them all out before noon. All right, that's everything I got to, for today. My throat's, my voice is going, uh, doing too much talking and, uh, you know, some allergy stuff. So thank you all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comment down below. I appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time.